Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be very very important for every one of you to watch because I am going to discuss two factors which is going to heavily impact the market and you should know what is the reason behind it. So the very first reason is the CPI numbers reveal that we have on 13th of July. The second reason is the empty gawk exchange FUD that's happening around the world and people also think that it is going to be the next black swan event. So both the things will increase the market volatility going forward and we can see some heavy downside. So we should be very, very cautious. Now let's understand how it will impact the market and what is the potential reason for it. So without wasting any further time, let's start with the video. So let's start with the CPI numbers. We already know that the Fed has increased the interest rates to 8.6% since the last 12 months. If this time again, 13th July, we see an increase in the interest rates, we might see the market to tank down heavily. The simple reason for that is people do not have the money to purchase basic stuff. They will sell their riskier assets such as cryptocurrencies and they will use that money for the basic needs. So in case the numbers are on the higher side, we will be very, very cautious because the market can go down heavily. On the other hand, if the numbers are in our favor, the market can be green, it can see some relief rally on the upside. So we need to have the CPI numbers on our radar to make any judgment. Now let's talk about the second reason, which is the empty Gox exchange. And this is a whole long story. So you will be very, very patient to understand this thing, but it is very, very interesting and it will just blow your mind away. So empty Gox was originally founded by Jed McCeleb and it was an exchange to trade magic. It was founded in 2006. Now magic was a video game or a card game kind of a thing where you can can utilize the concept of virtual economy and as soon as you hear this term virtual economy you can directly relate it with bitcoin right but in 2006 we did not have bitcoin so empty gox as the name suggests it stands for magic the gathering online exchange now z makes celeb let's call him z he after opening the empty gox which is used for trading magic he went on to other ventures but in 2010 he was attracted by bitcoin and he tapped this opportunity that there are no exchanges and people do not have a platform where they can send bitcoin from one place to another or they can buy or sell cryptocurrencies right so he opened a bitcoin exchange he already had emptygox.com domain with him and he officially launched a cryptocurrency exchange or a bitcoin exchange now z sold the empty gox exchange to mark carpels at a valuation of six months of the total revenue. But within few months, the total number of transactions were doubled on the exchange to 20,000 transactions per day. And at that point in time, the price of Bitcoin was just $1. According to sources, in June 2011, 2,500 Bitcoins were robbed from the exchange, which were equivalent to $400,000 that time, which is now equivalent to $525 million. Even then, the total number of transactions on this exchange were increasing, and it was the biggest Bitcoin exchange in that point in time, handling 70% of the total Bitcoin transactions. Now, everything was going fine, and in December 2013, the revenue of empty Gox exchange touched the all-time high, and first time in the history, Bitcoin breached the $1,000 level. But this happiness was short-lived because in February 2014, a lot of customers started complaining about the withdrawal of Bitcoin. And then to their horror, the exchange announced that they are suspending the withdrawals of Bitcoin. Now on 10th February, they admitted that yes, there is something wrong with the Bitcoin software and the transactions are not being recorded on the blockchain properly. Now this was the concept of transaction malleability, which is very, very new to most of the people. And to understand this particular thing, you should have a fundamental understanding about hashing, about digital signatures and all those stuff but to cut the long story short the hackers they slightly changed the digital signature of the hash of the transaction and that was not recorded in the blockchain in the first place and there was some fraudulent transaction which were recorded so this was the whole concept but just you need to know one thing that there was something not right on the exchange itself and then on 17th february the ceo of mt gox mr mark he announced that they are committed to solve this particular problem and the withdrawals will start soon but just four days after that mr mark he resigned from the BTC foundation and then what we see is the website of empty Gox it's offline and all the Twitter posts from their Twitter handle they are blank they are gone they are deleted four days later empty Gox officially announced that they are filed bankrupt and they also admitted that they have lost 7 lakh 50 thousand bitcoins of their customers and 1 lakh bitcoins of their own now probing deep into this it is something which is coming out that empty Gox private key was encrypted and it was hacked or it was stolen back in 2011 boom 
on 20th March 2014, MT Gox released the statement that they have received 2 lakh bitcoins out of the 8 lakh 50 thousand bitcoins which were missing. And also, in 2015, the CEO of MT Gox, Mr. Mark, he was arrested for the fraudulent activities. Now, in the same year, 2015, Nabuki was appointed as the trustee of the Tokyo District Court and his role was to reconcile all the creditors so that they get their money back. And for many years, the MT Gox stagnated as a result of lengthy uh, legal procedures and investigations. But in November 2021, the MT Gox and the Tokyo District Court formalized an official rehabilitation plan. And this brings us to the current month of July 2022. And on 6 July, we have seen that the creditors, they have received a mail regarding their payments. And MT Gox stated that the rehabilitation trustee is currently preparing to make the repayments. As per the balance sheet, MT Gox right now is holding 137,000 bitcoins, which is worth $3 billion. And all these bitcoins will be given to the people who have lost their money during the transaction malleability. Now the payments can be received by the creditors in three form. First one USD, second one BTC and the third one is BTC cash. And it is estimated that the creditors they will receive their payment in early August somewhere around 10th of August. Now people are very skeptical they do not know what is going to happen because if so much bitcoins will come into the hands of the retailers they are potentially going to sell it because the price from that point in time which was somewhere around $200 it has jumped to $20,000 and it is quite evident that people will sell it. So that's the thing, there will be a supply uh, increase in the market and when the supply will go up the prices are bound to go down but people have different perspectives for example we have CZ Binance and you can see this particular tweet now according to him people are not going to sell any bitcoins because they are holding at a very low price but according to me if I was a retailer if I had say 100 bitcoins with me I would have sold at least 30 33 bitcoins at this point in time so even if we take this particular fact that people are going to sell just one third of their bitcoins we will see a dump of 1 billion dollars in Bitcoin which is going to be huge so I'm slightly uh, skeptical of what's going to happen but this particular date is very very important another reason why I'm uh, sure that the market can dump because we have Ethereum merge that is aligned very well at that point in time so around August 10 we have this particular incoming from the empty Gox and at the same time we have the Ethereum merge and I'm pretty sure that people at that point in time will be very much happy to take out their money from Bitcoin and invest in Ethereum. So this is another side of things which we can see. So both the things the CPI numbers and the empty Gox exchange fund both the things is something which we need to look at and you must have received an idea that why this particular thing is so big because the supply it can just increase many folds and we can see a big big dump so our support levels around sixteen thousand dollars it can also breach so I hope none of you have taken a very big entry because we are always entering in parts and we have entered somewhere around 10 to 15 percent 20 percent of our portfolios and we will average out somewhere around 10 to 12 thousand dollars if the market dumps after this event so just make sure that you have your bids in place and we will again take the entries in parts because the market is going to recover very very quickly as soon as we see the dump so let's hope for the best and just in case if you loved this video give us a thumbs up and for more of such informational content do hit the subscribe button and we will see you in the next video take care bye bye